I'm Gray, and this is a new video for How Bizarre Studios, this time about Earth-11, the IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was the first comic book incarnation after the franchise was acquired by Viacom. It started in 2011, and it was mainly written by Tom Waltz, with Turtles co-creator Kevin Eastman helping as a co-writer on the series. The series syncretizes many incarnations of the past into one story, mixing concepts from all the TV series, movies, and comics that came before. To this day, it is the longest-running TMNT comic book of all time, and it is about to hit its 10th anniversary. The origin differs greatly in this incarnation. It all starts in feudal Japan, when Amato Yoshi was a member of the Foot Clan led by Oroku Saki. After seeing Saki make a ruthless choice, Yoshi left and was declared a traitor. Saki ordered the clan to kill Yoshi's wife, Tang Shen, and his four sons. When the Foot Clan killed Tang Shen, her dying wish was for the rest of her family to be safe. But after evading capture for 11 years, Yoshi and his sons were killed by Saki. In the present, Yoshi and his sons were reincarnated as a rat named Splinter and four turtles, contained in a research facility owned by Baxter Stockman, a scientist who has secretly allied himself with Krang, a ruthless Utrom from Dimension X. But the Foot Clan still existed, and they broke into the facility one night to steal some chemicals, which after a long chase ended up mutating Splinter and the turtles into humanoid creatures. Unlike other versions, Raphael was separated from his brothers at the moment of their mutation. The other turtles wore red bandanas to remind them of their missing brother, until the moment that they were reunited and then received the same colors that they used to wear in their previous life. While the turtles hardly remember their past life, they did keep their personalities and some skills, like Michelangelo being able to read Japanese, and they all remember their mother. Splinter, remembering his previous life, decided to train his sons in ninjutsu. The turtles were named by April O'Neil, an internet stock gen, after famous Renaissance painters Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. After 15 months of training, the turtles worked together in the shadows to oppose fierce threats, including Krang and his allies from Dimension X, and the Foot Clan, led by the revived Oroku Saki, who is now known as the Shredder. The series also created many new characters. Here are some of the most notable ones. Alopex was an ordinary arctic fox, until she was captured by a group of scientists attempting to experiment to bring other animals to human-level intelligence. The experiment was a success, first granting her human intelligence and then a human-like body. She was rescued from the laboratory by the Shredder and became an agent of the Foot Clan, believing it gave her life a purpose again. Old Hob is a one-eyed cat mutant, and the first major enemy of the turtles in the IDW continuity. At first, Hob had a gang of humans that worked for him, but later co-founded the Mutanimals along with Slash. Koya was the Shredder's pet falcon, whom he used for reconnaissance. She was mutated, and after losing her ability to fly for a while, she swore vengeance against Leonardo, who still has a scar from her attack on his face. Bludgeon is a mutant hammerhead shark created by the Shredder who eventually became blind in battle. He was originally written by Tom Waltz as Armagon, but was changed into a completely new character. Kitsune is a shape-shifting witch from the era of feudal Japan, who played an integral part in the Foot Clan's rise to prominence. She is also the youngest member of the Pantheon, and as such, she is a daughter of the Dragon, and a younger sibling to Aka, Manmuth, Gothano, Chiyu, the Rat King, the Toad Baron, and Jaguar. Jenica was first introduced as a Foot Clan ninja assassin, and almost 50 months later became the first female ninja turtle in this incarnation. Her story has been reviewed in another video in this channel. The syncretizing approach proved to be very successful and its influences can be seen in the 2012 TV series, with some characters being adapted from the pages to the CGI show. While it borrows from most versions of the Turtles, Tom Waltz seems to be influenced by the 2003 show the most. Despite that, when you read it, the story feels fresh and new. Many events change the lives of the Turtles during the series. If you are interested in reading it, I recommend the IDW collection books, as they include all the tie-ins in chronological order. 
you can get them digitally on Comixology. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.